Okay guys, wait till you see what we're gonna do for bite-sized art today. <laughs> okay, I had to rack my brain. Okay, this is a weird assortment of stuff, right? So we've got some clay. This is Crayola Model Magic. You can use any clay. I've got some airheads. <laughs> and I've got some Laffy Taffy. Okay. What I'm gonna do with all the rest of this when I'm done with this lesson, but whatever. The first one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to make um, handmade roses for decoration. So obviously clay roses you can use for art projects and candy roses you can use for decorating cakes, cupcakes, cookies, whatever, okay? So I'm gonna show you the clay one first and then we'll put on gloves and do the candy ones. So let me open this up. I'm using white clay. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is just get a little bit of clay like this, okay? Get it working here. So this model magic is a little bit fluffy, kind of, which will be an interesting look for our roses, but okay, so I've got it nice and worked up here. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a little piece about that big. that flatten it out and roll it up so it looks like a little rose bud you see then we're gonna take another little piece very small piece like this we're gonna make it nice and flat between our fingers just like that does not have to be in any perfect shape at all. Actually, the less perfect the shape, the more realistic the rose looks because natural roses have all kinds of different weird shapes to them. So I'm holding on to this part down here and I'm making the petals up here, you see? And you're just going to keep making petals. Different thicknesses, different widths. And you're going to add it around the edge of that middle bud. So see this one's kind of long. You want to overlap and wrap around like that. When this gets too long at the bottom, I just take that off and use it as a petal. I'm sort of just rolling it between my finger to give it kind of an organic shape. To my rose. And you're just gonna keep adding petals until it is the size and shape that you want it to be. This is so easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's just a piece of cake. You wanna make sure that you're squeezing the bottom here so that everything is staying in place. See? Take that piece off, make a petal out of it. You can see I'm just pinching and pulling like that and that's giving me the perfect petal shape. I'm gonna stick that here. And there's our rose. Boom, that's our clay rose. We can snip off that bottom portion and arrange your roses any way you want, okay? So that's that. That's our clay rose. Close this up. And you can make them really, really big. You can make them really small. It's totally up to you. So for the candy roses, it's 
pretty much the exact same technique, only it's stickier. <laughs> and you have to remember that if people are going to be eating it, you have to be clean. So like today I'm using gloves. This is a cool idea since Easter's coming up. You could do for your kids. Make like cupcakes. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is Laffy Taffy. I'm going to get it warmed up here. You're just squishing it like you would clay, getting it a little more pliable. And the heat from your hands will also warm it up. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Mind you, this is a lot harder because I have gloves on, but you get the idea. So there's our middle. Okay. And we're gonna make our petals here. This is a fun one for kids to do because then they get to eat their roses right after. Here's our first petal. You can experiment and see what other kind of flowers you can make, like peonies or tulips or anything else. I just like making roses. I'm going to add that petal here. You see? So you can make them tiny like that. Or you can make them very, very big. You can do this with fondant. I don't like fondant, but if you like it, you can do this with that. This is so hard with gloves. <laughs> Hopefully you get the idea. So there's our yellow rose from Laffy Taffy. And Airheads. Now Airheads have more sugar uh, they're, they're, they seem more granular. I'm going to do a leaf with this one. So we've got our watermelon airheads and our, what is this, cherry airhead. So with this, just warming it up. Oh my gosh, cherry airhead smells so good. <laughs> Here's our middle. But because they have a, like a more sugary kind of texture to them, they have very in interesting petals that look um, sometimes more realistic than like Laffy Taffy or something. I'm trying to do it quickly for the video, but take your time. Squeeze it at the bottom so they stay stuck together. I 
did not think I would be doing food art when I started these videos, but here we are. This is what you get from playing with your food. When a creative plays with their food, this is what happens. <laughs> Turn this around this way. Punch it in. See the little red rose? And then I'm gonna take a piece of the green. Now I'm going to create a leaf with the green. Okay, so we have our little leaf shape here, and then I'm going to take something with a hard edge to it, like a butter knife or something. This is a clay tool, but you can use all kinds of anything with a straight edge, like a ruler or anything. And press the veins into the leaf. I just cut mine a little bit, but that's cool. Some more leaf. And you're going to attach that to the side of your rose, like so. So there is our three types <laughs> of roses. One clay, two candy, and I think they're adorable. I hope you can see. There you go. And that is our bite-sized art for today. Thank you for joining me today for this silly one, guys. I'll see you later.